This is Antinote. It costs only $5 and will be the best $5 you have spent on a Mac app. And if you stick to the end of this video, you might just get it for free. At its core, Antinote is a scratchpad for your Mac. It's where all your texts go before you file them into a permanent place. But that's not all. It is also a quick calculator, a place to jot down tasks, create timers and countdowns, and save your clipboard. So let's dive in as I tell you why this app won me over in minutes. Once you install Antinote, you can access it from the menu bar, the dock, or my favorite way, the keyboard shortcut. No matter what you're doing, you can hit the keyboard shortcut option A and the Antinote window will pop up and be ready to go. If a thought comes to mind that I want to jot down, I can hit the keyboard shortcut, type my thoughts and close the window in seconds. It does that even if you have an app open in full screen mode. Here, I have Arc Browser open in full screen mode. Say, I came across a piece of text I want to save. Instead of copying the text and switching to my Notes app, I can hit the keyboard shortcut option A and Antinote will pop up right on top. I can paste the text there and close the window in seconds. Antinote can even watch my clipboard and capture the text I copy automatically without me having to paste it. This is one of its special features which I fell in love with. You can access this feature using the slash command. With Antinote open, when I type slash, it skips me a couple of options. I can press the number corresponding to the command to execute it. So let's say I want to access the auto paste feature. I will hit number 6 and Antinote will start watching my Max clipboard. I like that Antinote shows a quick guide to the feature you selected. Now, Let's start copying things. Notice that as I copy different texts, they are automatically pasted to my Antinote note. You get all the text in one place which you can copy and paste in your notes app or in a document in one go. If you are still not convinced, let's explore some other note types. I can switch to a new note by simply swiping from right to left on my trackpad. Let's start with the first option, which is the list. It will help you create quick list of tasks. I use this feature in conjunction with command P keyboard shortcut that pins the note on top of all apps, allowing me to keep track of my task just like a post-it note. Number two is math. You can use it to perform quick calculations and conversions. It's far better than opening your calculator app. You can also use this maths note feature to perform simple currency and unit conversions. Want to know how much $100 is worth in your currency or how many inches are there in 100 centimeters? You can do all that in seconds with Antinote. The third action is sum which adds all the numbers added to the note. You can perform the same action in the maths note but this way you don't have to type the addition symbol again and again. Another cool fact of this note type is that you can include text with your numbers and it will add them without missing a beat. The fourth note type gives you an average of all numbers. Frankly, I don't find use for this one but it's there if you need it. It adds all the numbers and gives you their average. Next is count which I find quite handy for counting words and characters in a piece of text. It also gives you the number of items on the list which can be handy. Next is auto paste function which I have already shown. So let's skip to the last one which is the timer. I love this simple feature. You can use it to start a countdown a Pomodoro timer or a stopwatch. To start a stopwatch, simply hit the enter or return key on your keyboard. You will see the countdown in the bottom left of the note. You can click to pause it or double click to stop it. If you want to start a timer, type timer followed by a space and then the time in minutes. Finally, hit enter to start. You can also start a Pomodoro timer if you use that productivity technique. Antinote is chock full of these features. For example, one thing I forgot to mention is its ability to OCR. Suppose I have a screenshot with some text in it. I can drag the screenshot into Antinote and it will extract the text. I mean, how cool is that? Despite all these exciting features, I love that the app doesn't aim to replace your note-taking apps but instead works alongside them to enhance your overall experience. You can move text from Antinote to other apps by simply copy and pasting or using its export tool that lets you export the notes in plain text or markdown formats. You can even directly send these notes to Bear, Obsidian or Apple Notes. Antinote is also highly customizable. To customize it, right click on its menu bar item and open settings. Here, you can change how the app opens. 
I'm using this app as a floating window, but you can also use it as a menu bar app. To do this, select the traditional menu bar app option. Now, when I launch the app, it will appear as a menu bar item. To further customize the app, you can change the font size and the paper type. I like the dotted paper, but you can choose plain, lined and squared. You can also increase the opacity so the paper type is more visible. Antinote also gives you several themes. You can select separate light and dark themes that will change with your macOS theme. Click the sun icon next to a theme to set it as the light mode theme and the moon icon to set it as the dark mode theme. There are tons of other settings you can change so play with them to make the app your own. Now as I promised, here's how you can get this app for free. I have a few activation code for this app that I'm giving away. To participate, subscribe to our channel and comment below sharing what you like about this app. I will randomly select a few comments and reach out within a week or so. But if you can afford to spend the money, I recommend buying the app right away. As I said, it's the best $5 you will ever spend on a Mac app. Before you go, watch this video next to check out the 10 best free Mac apps you should install on your Mac. I will see you there. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.